Yo, what plant is that? What plant is hey, that? What plant is that's that? That's a pretty flower. What plant is that? G? What? What is that? That's neat. Greetings. Here we have plantain. And there are multiple varieties of plantain depending on where you live. They come in broad leaf, narrow leaf, some are hairy, some lack hairs. And I think this species here is Plantago virginica, but I am not sure. And that would be the Virginia plantain, but I am not exactly sure about this species, but it is a Plantago species. And they all have similar characteristics. Of course, this is also edible and medicinal, and this is actually one of the first plants people generally feel comfortable using. You can identify the leaves by their vertical veins running from the base to the tip of the leaf. Again, some of them have tiny hairs all over them. You can flip the leaf back and forth and see the veins are very thick and pronounced on the back. And it also has a seed head that spears up from the middle of the basal rosette. And you'll find with this seed head, if you've ever taken uh, psyllium husk or metamucil, this plantago species, both of, both of the broadleaf and the narrow leaf, are in the same family as the commercial psyllium husk, which is used to bulk up people with loose stools and to add fiber to diets. Fiber itself is medicinal in that it aids in digestive health, controlling cholesterol and blood sugars from spiking as rapidly as they would without the fiber, and it works to keep you feeling fuller longer. So, in a, in a roundabout way, it helps to suppress the appetite. The tender leaves of the plantain can be eaten raw, and they're often thrown in salads, and you do want to check because the smoother ones are better to eat raw than the ones with hairs. But if they have many hairs, steaming or boiling them will make it much better for eating. Again, it's a source of fiber, a valuable source of fiber. It's high in vitamin A, C, and B6, and also has magnesium and potassium. When plantain is chewed, it opens up its cell walls and you notice that it is mucilaginous. It also has a plantain is also known for its drawing effect as it is highly astringent and it helps to repair tissue damage in the case of cuts, burns, scrapes, insect bites, snake bites, and it is also used as a primary ingredient in drawing salves for the removal of splinters. Now, for splinters, that is even if you do not have a pair of tweezers, plantain has been successful used in a salve when rubbed over the splinter and allowed to do its work where it contracts the skin and many people will testify that it has squeezed the splinter out on its own. For tea purposes, if you make a tea out of it, drinking it, it is cooling and soothing to the mucosa membrane of the mouth and throat and can also be gargled during a cold or flu if you experience these symptoms. And the whole plant of plantain can be used to all of these benefits and more. Externally, it is used for rashes and breakouts, whether they be acne or atopic dermatitis. And this plantain is among a few of the pleasant tasting herbs. And it will actually go good with your grocery bro grocery and it'll actually go well with your grocery bought items. Okay, now check this out. Have you ever seen a seed head from plantain so long? Maybe this is because it's growing in the shade. Interesting. All right, well, I hope this has been informative for you. Peace. 
If you have any existing health concerns, take that into consideration. If you are taking any medications at this time, take that into consideration and allow a two to three hour window before consuming plants medicinally. Do not take anything that you are not sure of or that you have not properly identified. If you have any further concerns, do not consume the plant. If you would like to know what other medical implications may come about from going back to a more natural life, to a more traditional lifestyle, after you have properly identified and know the uses of plants thoroughly and you are still concerned, of course, consult your local drug dealing doctor. I love